Easter is the religious holiday that says new life is always possible. On Easter, we recognize that war came out of what was seen as a disobedience to the will of God, that the will of God was coexistence and peace. The drone strikes is a total contradiction to life and Easter and springtime. It's a violation, I think, of God's dream for humanity. War in one form or another appeared with the first man. At the dawn of history, its philosophers, and clerics, and statesmen seek to regulate the destructive power of war. This concept of just war. That our administration is using the just war theory to justify an immoral conduct, the use of drones in this case. Now, when I read the leaked white paper from the administration on uh, the authorization to use lethal force in terms of drones, I was very disturbed. The Obama administration laid out these principles of just war theory in order to legitimize its use of armed drones to kill people. Four words that the Obama administration have used to kind of bless or christen an act of war are uh, necessity, distinction, proportionality, and humanity. Targeted strikes conform to the principle of necessity the requirement that the target have definite military value. Necessity is the requirement that for a war to be just, it has to be absolutely necessary action to defend your immediate people. Our cities are not being blown up. There is not a standing army in our streets. So where is the necessity? This has been entirely preemptive. There's no necessity to kill people halfway around the world in order to perhaps prevent our own people being killed here. Targeted strikes conform to the principles of distinction, the idea that only military objectives may be intentionally targeted and that civilians are protected from being intentionally targeted. You can't use a 500-pound bomb where there's a whole group of people gathered, including children, and, and expect that it's going to be discriminate killing. Any male in Pakistan between the age of 18 and 50 are legitimate targets. There is no surgical targeting of civilians because drone policy is based on firing upon groups of people and not individuals. Targeted strikes conform to the principle of proportionality. By targeting an individual terrorist or small number of terrorists with ordnance that can be adapted to avoid harming others in the immediate vicinity. If someone is throwing stones at you, you don't use a 75 millimeter howitzer on that person. We are Goliath and David is about the size of a mouse. It's about that uh, evenly matched. When you have 178 children victims of drone strikes, that is hardly proportionality. Targeted strikes conform to the principle of humanity, which requires us to use weapons that will not inflict unnecessary suffering. Humanity is a very, very large and beautiful notion of the oneness of the human race. When we uh, do this assassination by remote control, we are completely objectifying the person on the other end. There is absolutely no room for humanity at all. People are no more than a caricature on a video screen. This is a targeted, focused effort at people who are on a list of active terrorists. The Obama administration is playing God. Instead of a culture of life, we are dealing death at, at, in many places in the world, and that is totally contradicts the whole idea of new life, springtime, Easter, resurrection, triumph over death. As a religious person, I am appalled at the notion of targeted killing. It says in my tradition, to save one life is to save the entire world. You have to be sure that the good you're hoping to achieve surpasses the evil that you know you're doing. They really believe that they are the bounty hunters, that, that, that they are the jury, they're the judge, they're the executioner, and they are God Almighty.